All right, class, this is number 22 on page 525. Okay, I've wrote the equations down here. Um, I chose the second one here to be my first equation. It already has a 1 in front of the x. So I rewrote that right here. x minus 2y minus 3z equals 2. I chose my third equation uh, to be my next equation, so I have to get rid of the x in this equation. I've got to get rid of that x right there. So what I'm going to do is multiply this equation up here by negative 1. So I get negative x plus 2y plus 3z equals negative 2. If I add these two equations together I get 3y plus 2z equals negative 3. Divide everything by 3 and I get this equation right here. Okay, pause the video if I'm going too fast. All right, third equation is this top one right here. So I'm going to write that. I'm going to go ahead and put that. I think I'll have enough room here. I'll put it right down here. So 2x plus 4y plus z equals 1. Multiply this equation up here by a negative 2. So I can get rid of the positive 2x here. Okay, so I get negative 2x plus 4y plus 6z equals negative 4. Adding these two equations together, I get 8y plus 7z equals negative 3. Okay. Multiply this equation by a negative 8. I get negative 8y minus 16 thirds z equals 8. Combining these two equations, the y's cancel. I get 5. And I just go ahead and put this in my, in my calculator. I just put 7 minus 16 thirds. So 7 minus 16 thirds, and I get 1 and 2 thirds. If I hit the math fraction button, it tells me that that's 5 thirds. So I push math and then fraction. It turns it into a fraction. So now I know that 5 thirds times z equals 5. To solve this, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 fifths. 5's cancel. Multiply the other side by 3 fifths. The 5's cancel. I get z equal to 3. Once I know z is equal to 3, I can substitute that into the previous equation. I'm going to go ahead and solve for y. So I get y equals negative 2 thirds times z minus 1. So y equals negative 2 thirds times 3 minus 1, which is negative 3. So y equals negative 3. I think i got enough room over here, so I'm going to put it right here, put it in red. I'm going to solve for x in the first equation. x equals 2y plus 3z plus 2. Substitute in my z and my y. I get x equal to uh, 2 times negative 3 plus 3 times 3 plus 2. So negative 6 plus 9, plus 2, 5. So x equals 5. Um, I went a little fast. Like I said, these, these take up more memory, so i got to go a little quicker. Uh, if you have questions or whatever, just pause, rewind, watch it again. Hope this helps.